everybody, my name is Rachel and today I'm going to review Trading in Danger by Elizabeth Moon. This is a military science fiction book and the first in the Vada's War series. This story starts off with a bang with our main character Kylara Vada getting kicked out of the Military Space Force Academy because she trusts the wrong guy and gives him a perfect method to send off a really nasty political message about religious like oppression in the Military Academy and they pin the blame on her. She gets kicked out even though she was a really good student and in her last year and she returns home in disgrace to her family. Her family are the very well-known Vatas of the Vata Transport Company which does interstellar shipping and Kai had been expected to join the family business but instead she went to the military academy. You can kind of tell her family is glad that, that maybe that didn't work out and she's back with them. So her parents want to keep her out of the public eye. They want her to lay low and be somewhere else while the scandal is blowing over until the news cycle moves on to something else. So they make her the captain of one of their company ships. It's kind of, it's practically a derelict. It, it's on its last legs and they are sending her off to be babysat by the crew to take this ship on its last journey. Predictably, however, Kai Kai rises to the occasion and like other members of her family, she turns her mind to the family business of trade and profit and veers from the original plan somewhat in order to take another shipment, make more money, and possibly, you know what she really wants to do is save the ship, fix the ship, and then use it for her own adventures. Unfortunately, when she veers off onto her own plans, she accidentally lands her ship in the middle of a war with no money and no FTL drive, and she has to get her ship, her crew, out of the war zone, and hopefully not floating dead in space somewhere. Oh, and she still has to make a profit. During all of this, you really get to see that Kai relies a lot on her military training, that it's definitely a benefit to her now, even though she didn't graduate from the academy. She is calm and collected, she follows protocols, and it saves her skin and the people around her quite a bit. And this is what I really liked about this book. I really like the character of Kai. She is smart, she thinks quickly on her feet, and she maintains composure even in very high stress situations. And that's very beneficial in this situation. And I enjoy reading about characters like that. I don't enjoy reading about hotheads who go off and get themselves shot at or other people shot at. I just m much, much more enjoy reading about characters like Kai. I think all the other elements of this book were fantastic as well. The writing wasn't amazing, but it was solid, and I thought it very much suited the story. The setting was also, like, perfect for me. It reminded me of the Vorkosigan saga. In fact, I think Catherine from the Androids Conundrum kind of pitched this at me as sort of like the Vorkosigan saga, just with a female Miles and not quite as manic. But the world building, that sense of, of trade between, you know, Diff different systems and everything, it it felt similar to me. And also, I think I was getting some Firefly vibes from this because you have a kind of falling apart ship with a close-knit crew and they're getting into tough situations and getting out and they do have to get paid at the end of the day. They're not quite as ragtag as the crew of Firefly are, however, they're working for a very large company and there are standards and protocols and they're not completely on their own either, which is another thing that I really enjoyed about this book is Kylara's family, especially her parents, yes, she kind of feels smothered by them. She feels like they are misjudging her, like they are assuming she is one type of person when this book is very much about her realizing she's not what people have been telling her she is her entire life. She doesn't exactly have the weaknesses that they think she has, and she has strengths that they don't realize she has as an adult. And Kai's parents are there as a backup plan, especially her father. And if there's anything you need to know about me, it's that I love my parents, I do rely on my parents, and I really, really enjoy reading stories where characters have good, strong relationships with their parents, and there is a level of trust, and you also know that you can go to your family 
and they will always help you. They will always love you. Sure, you may feel like they don't understand you sometimes, you might feel guilty, you might feel pressured to do certain things, but they're still there for you. And I liked that. I like saying the family dynamics. The only thing that I'm going to criticize is that at the end of this book, it's hard to not spoil you here, but Kai is thinking about her own personality, what kind of person she is, and what she is best suited for, what her career is basically going to be given how she can handle herself and what she likes to do, what she's good at. And she thinks that there is, a, she, has, she thinks she has this really serious flaw. And while I think it is, it is probably a disturbing thing to realize about oneself, I'm going to get rather annoyed if she turns this into a huge deal about herself because I don't actually see it is that bad especially because she already realizes it and she doesn't like it about herself. That's a level of self-awareness and then she can do something about it. But if she wraps herself in knots about this and she just turns it into a huge deal, I'm not gonna enjoy that very much. But everything else about her introspection near the end of the story, I did really enjoy. So that is Trading in Danger by Elizabeth Moon. It is a fun, daring, intelligent, and emotional adventure in space, and I can't wait to read more. If you have read this series or this particular book, or hey, anything by Elizabeth Moon, please let me know down below. I think I'm really gonna want to explore like everything that Elizabeth Moon has written now. I just kind of, you just kind of know when you discover an author that you're really gonna like. <laughs> anyway. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll talk to you again in my next video. Bye!